Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the present day quest, Compersion. And in order to get back to the present day we need to complete the main quest, Aya, which is pretty much done. We just need to meet back up with Aya at the Paneon, or however you pronounce that. So let's go ahead and fast travel to here. Okay, not too far from here. I'll just go on foot. It's up there. That guy's in a hurry. Why can't I go that fast on my horse? Maybe you can. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Because that dude was flying. My horse is slow. Nope. Well, didn't mean to climb that. My dearest. The snake and Gennadios are dead. Oh. It was Eudorus. He died flailing in the baths. I wish I had been there. D. Hey, I was wondering if I should pull you out. Your adrenaline and BP are elevated, and it's affecting your heart rate and hormonal markings. Serotonin and oxytocin in particular. What happened in there? Aya's here. Who's Aya? My ex-wife. I could feel her nearby. You can feel her? Pretty sure that's the bleeding effect. Along with Bayek's memories, you're, you're also experiencing his emotions. No, you dork. I think she's actually in this cave. Spouses usually share the same tomb. A second mummy? We should really report to Abstergo. Maybe after I find Aya. I I'm gonna call it in if you don't. Deanna, no! If you do it there, well, get no credit. They'll cut me out like always. <sighs> okay. There. What is it? The bleeding effect is leading me to Aya. Oh, great. More fuel for your superhero complex. Okay, so we got some new stuff here. Uh, bike notes. This is amazing. Wow. Good thing the Animus comes loaded with beta blockers or my head would be pounding. D keeps fussing over my numbers like a little old granny, but holy shit, what a trip. It's like being high on sand in history books. Better start listing some details about these history dies before I babble on for three more pages. I could. List stuff. The civil war between Cleopatra and Ptolemy the 13th. Front row seats. Never was that much of a history buff, but I'm starting to get it now. This is going to be something. And gushing again. Sorry, not sorry. A bit more seriously though, that hidden blade ritual. I remember some of that from the documents I technically never read at all. Nope sir, not little old me. It all seems pretty related to Altair Ibn Lahad. Ibn Lahad. <laughs> I can't say his name. I remember Altair and the whole blade of the assassin thing. I bet you that particular ritual the files described originated from the Egyptian one I just witnessed. Lived. Lived it. 
The snake is dead. They think they killed everyone responsible for Hemu's death. Aya and Bayek. They're trying to move on from their son's death, but they're also totally into getting vengeance. The latter isn't going to help with the former. Also, I can't help but think the sharks are going to keep getting bigger. Yeah, I'm just going to talk to myself out loud and gush some more. Okay, and I think that's it. The Aya ghost went this way. Oh, there she is. She's down there. My turn for a leap of faith. Leap of what? You're in no condition to do any leaping. I do what I want. I was right, she's here. Oh, there you are, thank God. <laughs> I can almost taste the blood. Oh, oh, okay, you're making less and less sense, Leela. We need to report. Not yet. Not yet? So when? <sighs> Well, I can't chew my way out of here. All right, we gotta climb out of here. What are you doing now? Climbing. <clears throat> and it's hard, so... Uskuti, will you? Fine. Let me know when you get to the top. She's learned a trick or two from Bayek, and now she can climb before she was not able to. I need to be on the lookout. There's, uh, something on the way, if I remember correctly. I'm going back in. Why? I took a DNA sample from Aya. I want to see your memories. Look, I get that you're excited, but the more risks we take, the worse things could go for us. It's my dream on the line here. Let me do this my way. Uh, best TV show in town. Let's check that out. Under Animus Design. Uh, yeah, I can't read that. No idea. Uh, let's see, where am I going? Through the webs. I also found a secret thing over here, I think it was. No. Ah, there it is. D, I found some ancient text. Need a translation. Upload it to me. So, when are you calling this into Abstergo? There's some interference on the line. Didn't catch that last bit. Why do I even bother? East of the oasis I call home, there is a cave. Accessible only by a nearby fork in the road. It is a small hollow within the cliffside. Not easily found. Inside, I discovered a relic of great power. This DNA needs to go in the Animus. There is something about the cave itself. A feeling. A knowing. The place tugs at my soul. One day, I will return. So I assume that's talking about Siwa. And some fork in the road east of there. Haven't found it yet. Haven't really looked, to be honest. But eventually, I need to see what that is, because it could be something really awesome. And as far as I know, that's all I can get for now. So let's go back to the Animus. Adding Aya's DNA to the chamber. It'll take time to sequence. You won't be able to sync with her memories right away. <laughs> Layla, something else you should know. Since you're mixing gene sequences in an uncontrolled manner, the transition between memories will likely be unpredictable. I'm comfortable with unpredictability. 
Yeah? Well, I'm worried. You always are. Okay, it's ready and we're done in present day, so let's go back. interpreting ISDNA yet. Fine. Fine. What is it? The snake. What if he was not the last? Of course he was the last. They are all dead. Justice is done. If there's any question, Apollodorus will know. He knows all. And where will I find this man who knows so much? He is with Cleopatra. But find his man first near the Hippodrome. Hey! I'll tell Thanos that Gennadios is dead and meet you later. Enjoy the Hippodrome. Don't lose all your money at the races. Alright, so we got our next quest and we are all done here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.